Sometimes when I'm reading poems at colleges, I feel like I have to gloss some of my materials from a previous age, like typewriter, something which preceded a word processor. <laughs> and in this one, I, I am referencing an instrument called the telephone. Okay, I'm on page nine, regret. Regret, nothing. Not those years when you were a single mother, bologna casserole, and not enough money for heat. Or the years before, the ones trying to please a man who couldn't be happy, no matter how hard you tried to replicate his mother's recipes. The marinara wasn't sweet enough. The lasagna didn't have enough layers. Don't regret the years that went up in smoke, the glamour of the lit match, the first drag, the curls that rose to decorate the ceiling. Or the years as a waitress, the customers who stiffed you on tips, which were quarters and nickels back then, every thin dime counting. Instead, remember your friends, those hours on the telephone, the artery of the long black cord, a river of voice. Don't tell me that broken places make you stronger, and I won't mention silver linings. Sometimes there are scars. Sometimes it rains. Stop looking for the friends who aren't here, the ones whose faces you sometimes glimpse in a crowd. The past is the grass growing under our feet, the dirt beneath it, what feeds it. Remember that nothing is ever lost. Um, can you explain your writing process a little bit? And then I was going to ask, how far into your writing process do you know where it's a successful poem? I mean, that's an excellent question. I remember the, the movie Shakespeare in Love. It's a mystery. And I, for me, writing poetry is a mystery. Um, I can put every bit of craft I've got into poems that end up dead on arrival. They just don't lift off the page. They don't sing and dance. And I don't really know why. Um, talking about my writing process sounds like something um, a little more organized than I am. I sit down there and I just um, kind of chip away at it. I tend to write big and then edit small. So I, I, I write a lot of junk and then in the editing process, try to cut away everything that isn't really a poem. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes wonderful little poems just come out almost fully formed. And I don't know what what happens to make them come out that way other than I think it's all the unsuccessful poems. It's kind of like they come on the back of, of those poems. <laughs> like like you're due, like the universe is throwing you a bone or something to, yeah, to, keep, yeah. to keep you going. Because, you know, we're the eyes no. and ears and, and heart of the universe kind of as human beings. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I mean, I think that Maybe some of sometimes we're afraid of writing bad poems. There's nothing wrong with writing a bad poem. You just don't have to try to publish it. <laughs>